Okay, so I've been a fan of Hohem products for a very long time and if you followed a lot of my videos over the years, you must have seen that I've reviewed a lot of Hohem gimbals, which is what they're known for. So when they've just released this brand new set of wireless microphones called the Hohem Mic 01, I had to jump on it, get a pair of these and see how they perform because I've been really happy with the quality of their products. So now that they are in the microphone game, that really caught my interest. Now this comes in a couple of variations. You can actually get this in a USB-C version or a lightning version to connect to your phones. I've gone ahead and got the USB-C one because I'm going to connect it with my iPhone 15 Pro. This also comes in a different color, also in a white variation as well, and I've got the one here in black. So I'm gonna run up through quickly the design of this, how this works, how to use some of the options. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put up on the screen all of the key specifications of this microphone, which is going to save a lot of time if you just have a look here, or you can click the link in the description to learn more and everything about the latest pricing information and all of the key capabilities on their website. I've also reviewed a lot of wireless microphones in the past, and I have a whole playlist of wireless microphone reviews as well that you can also check out. But there's two main features that actually stood out to me with the Hohem microphones that I've not seen on any other mics. First of all, the noise cancellation. Now it doesn't have just active noise cancellation or no noise cancellation. So sometimes you only get those two options. This one has two additional noise cancellation modes that you can select. You have the standard noise cancellation and a strong noise cancellation. And we will be testing that out and I will probably step outside where it is quite windy today and hopefully give you an idea of how it sounds with all these three different levels of noise cancellation, including no noise cancellation as well. The second and my most favorite is that you can use one of the transmitters as a Bluetooth shutter remote. So when you've set your phone up, you've got the receiver attached to the phone. I sometimes have to basically go around, walk to my phone, check the view, start recording, go back to where I'm standing or I'm sitting, and then basically start filming at that point. But if I'm already at my spot, then all I need to do is press the button on the transmitter. It will automatically start the recording on my phone. That for me is a very important convenient factor and I will showcase just quickly how that works as well. So let's not waste any other time. Let's just look into the design of these and how they work and then we'll go straight into the audio tests. Okay, so you have this very nice compact lightweight carry case with a little orange strap, LED indicators showcasing the battery life of the case and you can actually get up to 20 hours of usage with the case itself. And at the back you have yourself the USB-C charging port. Let's take a look at one of the transmitters and the receiver. This is the USB-C version that just connects to your phone. You also have the gain buttons. Now to change the gain, you can double tap one of these buttons and then you'll see red indicator lights and I'll showcase that in a second. Then you just press the minus or the plus to adjust accordingly. And not only that, you can actually monitor the audio coming from your transmitter by using the headphone port just to the right hand side. So if you have someone that's filming for you, they can also check your audio levels and make adjustments accordingly. And this is a very nice feature to have on a small adapter like this that connects to your phone. Now, if we look at the transmitter, one thing I really like about this is this has 360 degree omnidirectional microphones. So no matter which way you face it, it will pick up your audio very clearly. And that's very important as well when you do position this on your clothes. Now you have an LED indicator light, which I'll talk through in a second, but just at the bottom, not only do you have a USB-C charging port, but just above that, you have a TF card slot. You can actually put a micro SD card in there to have backup recording, but not only that, you can even use this as a standalone recorder and record directly onto the transmitter, onto the SD card itself. And then you can transfer all of the audio, which comes out as 48 kilohertz lossless sampling WAV files to your laptop for post editing. Then you have the buttons on the side here. You've got the power button, the shutter button, which I'll be showcasing how that works. Then you have the mode button to switch between the different noise cancellation modes. And there's also a mode called reverb mode, which we're going to test by using this button as well. You also have a cold shoe mount and a magnetic clip that you can place behind your shirt. And this is a very strong magnet. So I'm really going to use this more than the clip itself. So let's go ahead and connect the receiver 
and this will turn on automatically and then I'll show you how to switch between the three different noise cancellation modes and also how to use the reverb mode. You'll see on the receiver there's a green light on channel 2. This is the second transmitter that I removed from the box. There's a blue flashing indicator for channel 1 because that's still in the box and it's not paired yet until you take it out. Now there's a green light on the transmitter and there's a green light on the receiver for the same channel. Now the green light means standard noise cancellation. It's very easy to switch to the next one. You press the mode button just there and now the light is yellow and it's also yellow on the receiver. This is strong noise cancellation. If you press it one more time, it will go back to blue. This is no noise cancellation. Now if you wanted to switch over to reverb mode, you just need to double tap the mode button and this actually starts cycling between purple and the color of the noise cancellation mode you're on, in my case, green. Now this will record your audio, which is suitable for people that may be some artists or musicians, and it has a bit of an echoey effect, and we'll be testing this out very shortly. And the last thing to start the recording wirelessly using the shutter is just press the power button just there once, and you'll see on my phone there, this will actually start recording. There you go. It's very convenient, quick tap, and if I just press again, it stops the recording on my phone. Now you can also use this as a mute button as well, in case you want to stop any audio coming through directly to the receiver. So that's pretty much everything on the transmitter and receiver. Let's go ahead and test out the audio. Okay, so I've switched over the recording from my camera to my phone now, whilst the receiver is attached. You've been hearing the audio coming from my shotgun microphone just off the side of the screen. So now I'm going to switch over the audio coming directly from the Hohem Mic 01. Now, this is the audio being delivered directly from this transmitter, which I've set to the maximum gain level 5, and I've also used no noise cancellation, which is why the blue light is also on. So whilst I'm actually speaking, I'm going to go through the three different levels of noise cancellation and repeat that process outdoors, and maybe with the wind muff attached as well, to see how much difference it makes with the strong cancellation when you do have a lot of strong background noise. So if I just press the mode button, this is now medium or standard noise cancellation, which is green. So you may not hear too much of a difference because I don't have a lot of background noise, but the clarity in the audio for me makes me quite impressed with this. This is a very good solid piece of wireless kit. Now let's go ahead with the strong. Now the light is turned yellow and this is a very strong noise cancellation. Now hopefully you are trying to listen to this video with some headphones where you can get more of a clearer idea of the audio quality when I go through some of these tests. But I just wanted to showcase the quality of the mics if you are going to use this with your phone, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, this is going to be so convenient. And when I'm actually ready to stop the filming, I don't need to go all the way to my phone. I can just press the button on the top of the transmitter to stop the filming. So what I want to do now is show you a quick test of the reverb mode which would be convenient for people that do a lot of singing or if you have a singing YouTube channel, then you may find this a little bit more useful or if you're a musician or in any way, then you may use this. But for me, I personally wouldn't use the reverb mode for my use cases. So let's check that out now. Okay, this is reverb mode and you can hear how it echoes my voice a little bit. If this is something that you're going to use whilst you are singing, then that may work very well for you. But I just wanted to highlight this very quickly just to showcase what this mode means and how it works and more importantly how it sounds. So I've not actually seen pretty much any other microphones like this that have a mode just like this inbuilt with very quick and easy access to just turn it on and more importantly to have a visual display on the transmitter of what mode you're in just in case you've forgotten the next time you come around to it is also very important. So this is how reverb mode sounds but let's go back to the no noise cancellation mode. And there we go. So one thing I also like about this is that this will remember the mode you are in the next time you go back to use the microphones on another day. So if I had it on strong noise cancellation and that's what I like to keep it on, then once I've left it on there, put it back into the charging case, if I come back two days later to use it, it will stay on that and it doesn't reset in any way. Also, when you do attach the receiver to your phone, you don't need to remove the receiver to actually play back the video and hear the audio. Everything is playbacked with the receiver attached and that for me is very convenient because I found that a little bit of hassle in previous microphones for my smartphones 
whereby I had to remove it to hear the audio, but this one, there's no need to remove the attachment. So all in all, this pretty much does everything that I would like it to do, and even more. So I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality, not just the sound, but the build and the features. But now let's go ahead and test out the noise cancellation features outdoors and see how well it performs under very strong windy conditions. Okay, so now that I'm outdoors, I've got the wind muff on the transmitter. It is very windy today, so I wanted to reduce as much wind noise as possible, but I wanted to test out all of the noise cancellation modes. So right now it's on blue, which means there's no noise cancellation. You may hear cars from a busy road behind. You may hear a little bit of the wind still. So there is a lot of ambient noises, but I'm gonna go ahead, press the button. This is on standard noise cancellation mode now. The green light is on, and I can also see the noise cancellation modes with the green light on the receiver, which also is a very convenient factor. But how much of the background noise and how much of this wind has reduced? Let's go ahead to strong noise cancellation now. There we go, with the yellow light. Absolute strong noise cancellation. This will reduce a lot of the background that you're probably hearing. To get an idea, the best way to get an idea, in fact, is to use some headphones to try and listen out how much of the background noise has been reduced, however you're watching this video. But for me, I've paid back samples of doing this and I was very impressed. And if I am ever going to do a lot of outdoor filming, I would always use the strong noise cancellation because it does a very good job. And that's all I wanted to showcase outdoors. Hopefully that gave you a great idea. So let's go ahead and head back into the studio. Now, how great was that comparison? One thing I really like about these mics is that when I went from no noise cancellation to just standard, it pretty much eliminated all of the background noise. So I couldn't hear any of the cars in the background, any of the wind noises anymore. So I probably wouldn't even have a need for the strong noise cancellation, but to have that additional option when you are in a situation or an environment where there is a, a lot of background noise, then you can just be comfortable knowing that this is going to do an amazing job. Compared to a lot of the other wireless microphones, this is now my go-to set of wireless mics that I will be using with my phone, because not just is it plug and play, the ease of setup, but all of these features, the indicators with the lights, and also the different levels of noise cancellation, and more importantly, the wireless Bluetooth remote function. For me, that is a game changer, and I can't recommend this enough. If you all have any other questions about the Hohem Mic 01, as always, drop a comment down below. But I always recommend to take a look at the link in the description to find all of the latest pricing information, any discounts or offers they may be running from time to time, and just generally look at all of the capabilities and key specs that I may not have covered in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I do really cool tech gadget reviews like this every week. Make sure to like this video, and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.